Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another cool tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, emulating very interesting 16mm look on Blackmagic camera and we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve for that. And I'm going to be explaining one of the key features of doing the proper emulation of the camera look. I'm, I'm going to try not to use any plugins for you guys so you can see the actual workflow in case you don't have a studio version of DaVinci Resolve and you can replicate pretty much everything what I'm doing in the light version. Um, with this tutorial I'm going to include a couple of uh, files that I'm going to be working on, actual power grades, so you're going to be able to follow along and replicate uh, what am I doing. For the sake of tutorial I'm going to take a still from the Hurt Locker movie and we're going to break it down and see how the grading was done and what is the specification of 16 millimeter look, okay? So let's get started. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to start a little bit backwards. And I, I have a couple of uh, looks for you guys, and I'm going to explain what are they for. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to work backwards, okay? That way I'm going to explain each note for you separately. That way you can understand and follow along. Also, I'm going to be using very cool plugin called um, False Colors by Time Pixels. I'm going to provide a link below where you can download or purchase the plugin. It's a very, very cool plugin in case you don't have a professional Flanders monitor or any other professional color grading monitor. And basically what it allows you to do is to follow the colors based on the RIE chart over here. That way you can understand the principle of color grading a little bit better. It's also going to help you to match colors and shots between each other way, way easier than before. Okay, so let's get started. For our today tutorial, I'm going to be using the shot uh, of the Forte commercial that me and my friend Matteo shot a couple years ago. And it was shot originally on 2.5K model Blackmagic. And I don't have the raw file, it's been decoded into DNX HD. So we're just going to be working with that file, okay? So let's start from the complete scratch. In the first note, um, I've done my usual denoising process, as you can see before and after. Let me zoom in, just because of maybe YouTube compression. So, before and after. As you can see, it removes a lot of artifacts. So, first note is a very straightforward, just denoising. In second note, I always do saturation over here. Very straightforward, just to give it a, a basic color so we can start grading. Um, after that I create another note with the LUT and for this note I use standard LUT that comes with DaVinci Resolve 2383D55 a little bit warmer look okay after that I adjusted exposure in the LUT as you can see there is a little curve you can see it without it and with the curve so we brought down everything and if I'm gonna turn on my false color plugin you can see as far as the exposure, we actually start matching our Hurt Locker shot. They start getting very, very similar to each other, okay? Okay, let's get going. In the next, um, in the next note, I use a slightly little bit of color boost. You can find this panel right over here. So let's see, oops, from zero to 16 I believe see slightly a little bit more color that way our shot doesn't look boring or anything like that the next step I've done is I added a grain and I use the plugin that comes with DaVinci for the for the grain uh, I used 16 millimeter I believe it was 50d and I tweaked out the settings a little bit, increased the, the strength, and I think that's about it. Now here's where the difference coming uh, with the power grades I'm, I'm giving you guys. One is the open effects, and I believe on the light version you don't have that. So I created exactly the same look using mats. Okay, so let's apply that. Okay, and now we have kind of different picture over here, but in a theory it's all the same. So that's what I use this this gorilla fine muddy dirt and in order to make it as a mat right click on it 
and add to media pool as mat okay and it's gonna add over here with a little with a little mask icon okay let's go back and from our parallel mixer what I've done is created the layer mixer and basically well this one doesn't really stands for anything despite the effects it's actually it doesn't have any effects but in a bottom node I only selected and here is very interesting uh, specification of the 16 millimeter look the actual grain from 16 millimeter look only applies to highlights like if you're gonna go and watch uh, any movie that was shot using 16 millimeter even for example this one um, you don't you're not gonna see any grain in the blacks the blacks are usually very clean I mean there's still a little bit but not as much as in the highlights okay so in order to replicate that I'm actually gonna go to the qualifier and I'm gonna only qualify let's see the brightest part of the image okay and then I'm right click add mat timeline mats and I'm gonna select my mat okay and over here in the layer mixer you're gonna compose them as add then I created another node and in this node I adjusted the exposure because if you're gonna uh, select add everything gonna look super overexposed okay so I brought down a little bit of exposure that way it looks pretty nice and clean and pretty much that is it that's how you achieve a very nice realistic 16 mil millimeter look uh, I can apply the same technique to this shot for example is a part of the same commercial that we shot and I'm gonna apply this look and over here you can see our actor Randy actually very dark so the way we can fix that is to add another node somewhere over here and we're gonna go into qualifier and we actually gonna select only the darkest part of the image okay like this and we're gonna feather it a lot because if you're not gonna feather a lot you're gonna have a lot of artifacts okay so that looks pretty sweet and I'm just gonna crank up midtones let's enable the false color and see where we're going with this okay keep on going okay I think that like this looks pretty sweet okay so our skin is somewhere between 45 to 55 I think that, that looks pretty cool okay let's turn it off and as you can see we have now difference in contrast slightly so what I'm gonna do as I was showing in my previous tutorial I'm just gonna increase a little contrast over here okay and let's check out the shot before and after that looks pretty cool and as I was showing a little bit earlier our grain only affects the most brightest part of the image but for example if that's not enough and we want to add a little bit extra value to our picture what we can do we can add a little bit more sharpening to his eyes and because I already have the grain added over here I don't want to add sharpening after the grain because it's gonna affect how the grain looks I'm gonna add eyes which is sharpening before the actual grain okay and I'm gonna call this eyes and what I'm gonna do is to do a little mask over here okay that way his eye is gonna be a center of our attention I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast with a nice soft feathering and I'm gonna add slightly a little bit more very very tiny bit of the sharpening okay and now I'm gonna track down the mask okay let's go back okay let's see as you can see in the beginning it's kind of sliding a little bit on the side it's actually didn't even track completely so what we can do if we're gonna click over here in the frame that's actually gonna means we're gonna manually override the tracking data so I can zoom in and start adding 
sort of my own keyframes just like that okay for the sake of tutorial obviously I'm doing a little bit sloppy job but you guys are gonna get the point all right now let's see as long as it sticks okay here we can fix that okay here obviously we want to fix that okay let's see it sticks for the rest of the shot okay it sticks for the rest of the shot pretty well so let's take a look before and after you can see there's a little bit more contrast and details in his eye okay and that's how you emulate 16 millimeter look all right thank you for watching take care